Ava, what is it that you're doing, sweet girl? Not a happy ending. I'm sorry, little kids. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Sometimes you're just witness of nature, you know? You sweetest little girl. Like the good girl that she is, she's been quiet the entire time. But now I see, I was watching through the camera, and I can see hoops. I mean, a bubble. Hopefully, there are hoops in that bubble. Uh, she just started pushing. And she's been very, very quiet in this whole process, and I've never had a doe that is this quiet. So I kind of feel bad for her. But look, she's pushing. She's not even making a sound. It's 1.30. She is pushing again. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I got you. I got you. My instinct is saying that I should go in. But I don't want to going too early but just makes me nervous that I can see meconium. Can I see? What's in there? Is that a hook? Or is that a face? That's a hook. Hopefully the face is right after, or right behind it, I should say. Ah. Yep, that's... We gotta keep pushing, Mama. Come on. Come on. Look. I got to look, Mom. And this is the thing with first fresheners. You don't know if they're stalling. No, we're not focusing on that right now. We're focusing on pushing out babies, okay? There you go. Good girl. Maybe she will want to start pushing now again. But I need you. I need to look. I think what's stressing me out is that she is not making a sound. Ava, what is it that you're doing, sweet girl? There's two hooves. They're right there.
kisses to you, baby. It has a heartbeat. Doling. It's just not gonna make. It. I'm gonna keep trying. She's gone. She was coming with her back legs first. Like this. And you can see she was stressed. She pooped. So I was pulling from her back legs because I knew something was wrong. She stopped pushing. She acted not interested like she wasn't having any contractions so i started pulling on the back legs and oh my gosh she's so cute and um so when i was pulling her like this i'm sure that her umbilical cord broke before i took her out that's usually what happens when they're coming this way. Um, but if you get them fast enough out, they can still make it. Um, unfortunately, this was not the case. I think by the time she came out, she was out of oxygen for a while. And I'm just so devastated. I've never had to bury so many kids. And the sweetest little girl. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. At that moment when I realized that she was coming, what I thought she was coming upside down, and I thought that this that I was touching was her nose. When I finally went in all the way, I realized this was a tail, and there's nothing worse than just watch it happen, you know? It's like you're powerless because sometimes you're just witness of nature, you know? No matter how hard you try to keep everyone alive, to keep everyone clean and happy, sometimes 
you're a witness of nature because that's what was gonna happen. No matter what you could have tried, you know, sometimes you're just a witness to nature. You just want to give her some time to realize that she's not alive. So when I take her to go bury her. She'll know that I'm just not taking her baby. So <sighs> she has blue eyes. And she's bold. <laughs> For whatever it's worth. And she has like some brown like her daddy. Some silver like her mommy. She was a big girl, too. I'm sorry, Ava. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. You do whatever you need. Everyone wants to know. Not a happy ending. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna clean this, okay? You want me to bring you some grain? I forgot it, I'm sorry. Much, but something is something. 